Hey, what's up everybody? I am pumped to release the first volume in our motion design elements series, and this is called Paint Smears. It has 50 3D animated painting on effects, and these are all Alembic files, so you can use them in almost any 3D application or render engine. When you purchase this, you're going to get an ABC file and it has all of the animation in here. So we'll just drag and drop that into Cinema 4D. You can use whatever 3D app you're using and we're just gonna use the defaults and hit okay. And here is the beginning of our paint animation. And if we scrub through this, you can see that we have this paint smear on effect and it's kind of growing on and blobbing and oozing. We have some really nice uh, detailing in here as well with some splatters. All right, so here's a few tips. First thing is in an Alembic, you can easily change the offset of the timing. If you wanted this to grow on, on say frame 30, we can just do that. And at frame 30, it'll start growing on. So really easy to change the offset. One thing is in Cinema 4D, it does have that first frame still on for some reason. So what you can really quickly do is just find the frame that it starts and right click on here and go to render tags and display. And on the display tag, you can check on visibility and make a keyframe, then go back one frame and turn that visibility to zero, make another keyframe, and then it will um, pop on exactly what it's supposed to. All right, let's talk about rendering really quick. And I'm using Octane, but this will work in just about any render engine. So let's make a new material in Octane. We'll create a glossy material and let's make sure that we open up our material manager here. Let's drag and drop this onto the paint smear effect. And the first thing we're gonna do is change this from UVW mapping to cubic. So we don't have UVW mapping on here, but if you just change it to cubic, everything's gonna look great. All right, so once we're on cubic, let's open that texture. And a nice thing that we can do is add a gradient. So we'll let's search for gradient and uh, we'll add a octane gradient into here and pipe that into the diffuse. All right, so we have our gradient here, but it's not mapped properly. And the way that we can map it is under the gradient, we can go to linear and click that. And we're gonna get a transform node, which we can offset the, uh, the position on here. We can just play around with the X until it covers the whole paint swatch. All right, so now we have our gradient and then we can go into that color and we can play around with the colors on here. And let's just pick a nice orange. Uh, if you wanted to, we can also add a noise into this. So let's expand our window a little bit here. And what we're gonna wanna do is put the noise right before the gradient. So we can go to noise and let's drop an octane noise right before the gradient. And this is going to be a little bit hard to see unless we increase the contrast, but we can increase the contrast and then we'll be able to see it a little bit better. And then if we wanna increase the size of those, we can also do a UVW transform here and under that one we can scale that up a bit then we have larger noise and you can see that we're starting to get somewhere so a couple tweaks to the gradient we'll add some yellow in there maybe make this uh, orange a little bit of a darker orange and just with a color gradient and a little bit of noise we're able to get some nice random colors inside of that paint smear and it's starting to look very nice so that's a quick overview of paint smears a really fun product and i hope you all find a good use for it thanks for checking out the pixel lab we'll talk to you next time ciao